Hello Capricorn, welcome back to my channel everyone. Thank you for being here. This is going to be a reading for Cappy and your next relationship. So we'll see who's coming in, what we can learn, anything about this person, about this next connection of yours. Um, so stay tuned. Please subscribe to the channel. That would be wonderful. If anyone out there is wanting to become a channel member, um, you will get access to member only content and extended readings. And the way you can do that is by clicking on the join button on the home page of my channel um, also if anyone is after a private reading I am currently accepting those so uh, if you want some personal guidance in regards to your love situation please email me and we can go ahead and book that in for you otherwise Kathy let's help me look your next major relationship Okay, we've got a Leo that's come through and a Gemini. So they could be under one of these signs. Okay, Leo has come up twice. So I feel like that's important. What's crowning your reading? And then we'll have a look at this person's energy. Okay, they're coming up as the hangman. So you have someone coming through here that you are going to want to inspire and look after and nurture so it's like someone's coming in and you're going to take them under your wing here capricorn i feel like this is someone that's not your usual type with the hangman um, i feel like this is someone that can be very different from what you normally go after looks personality what they do for work you know you've always had your eye on a particular kind of person or you've always had a type but i feel like this next person is going to be unlike anyone you've ever dated now i'm getting with the hangman it could be like the bad boy the bad girl kind of thing here as well so could be someone tattooed up could be someone with felony charges it could be someone who you know doesn't take any bs from anyone um I mean, they could be promiscuous. They could have led a life that's um, a little bit scandalous even. Or they do things that are a bit eyebrow raising. Like they come from this sort of background. And I feel like when I got this card, I feel like Capricorn, it's going to be, they're going to be your little project. Okay. You're going to want to help them get employed, help them make more money, change up their look, get a place of their own you're going to come in there and really inspire them to be a bigger and better person. But I feel like don't judge this person too quickly because I feel like whatever has happened to them underneath it all, they do have good intentions and they can and will change their life around. So it is someone who's going to level up and I feel like they need to meet you um, in order for that to happen because you're going to be their source of inspiration with the hangman here. Now, they could also work with like correctional services. Um, okay, they could work as security. They could work and help people that have, um, you know, social work, youth work. They could help people that have sort of lost their way in life. Um, so maybe they're here to sort of help people. Um, and I feel like with the hangman, I, I feel like they may help people rehabilitate, uh, get back on their feet, earn more money. It could be like a training role. I feel like they're in a position where they help people sort of get back, um, get their life back on track in a way. And it can mean even in a different area. It could be like financial. It could just be um, emotional, psychological here as well. Um, okay, I feel like this is a face-to-face -face meeting. So you are inter being introduced. Some of you are already speaking to this person. Definitely soulmate vibes coming forward. So I feel it's in your path. Um, to meet and to connect with them because you both need to balance each other out. Um, but we do have Leo, Taurus and Gemini energy around this person. So they could be under one of these signs um, or they may, you may be meeting through these ways. Like if it's a Gemini energy, you could be meeting through a chat room or you could be introduced by a Gemini. Um, I feel like if it's King of Pentacles, it could be through work. You might be meeting them through work. You could be meeting them at the gym, at the psychologist's office. Um, something of strength. I feel like strength is coming up. So that's very peculiar. Um, but 
yes, okay, you could be also at a meeting during those seasons as well. Um, but I feel like what I'm getting from this relationship is that I see you potentially having children with this person. Um, I feel like family is going to be a big thing. So you're going to introduce each other to each other's um, family and friends. Like there's this Ten of Pentacles is like really bringing them into your world um, and enjoying those facets. So I feel like it is someone that's going to go the distance because you know, Capricorn, you're very selective in that regard and you don't just let anyone meet your social circle or the people that are important to you. It's like they have to go through this barrier to get to that you know you're sort of going to test them they need to get through certain levels until they can prove to you that they're worthy of meeting your friends and family so i feel like it might be a little bit of a test you'll be putting them up to um, but they're going to pass with flying colors okay king of pentacles crowns the reading so i feel like this is going to be a very romantic relationship there's a lot of sexual chemistry between the both of you and i feel like that could be one of the foundations amongst other things like being soulmates maybe um, sexual attraction and that chemistry is going to be one of the biggest things and you guys are going to be obsessed with each other there's nothing wrong with that is there but it's essential kind of energy which which shows respect okay it's not given their background or what they may be a part of what they used to do it's very different to that it's almost like they treat everyone else with tough love, but then they'll come in and treat you with this softness and this sensuality, but only you'll see it, Capricorn. And you will really love that, the fact that they treat you so sweetly and so softly in comparison to maybe how they treat other people. Uh, but I feel like there is that sensualness with the King of Pentacles. Um, I do feel like you could really see yourself settling with this person. I also see some of you may move into each other's family homes um, or you may spend time in each other's family homes almost like your family already. So there's a closeness here. But I feel like um, some of you are going to go into business with this person as well. You're going to start your own business with them. Uh, you may be making money from home or you may... You may start a business online together. I do see you collaborating in a professional sense as well. So this relationship, it's hard to pinpoint it. It could be like you guys work together and then, you know, you're working on a project, you're making money and it starts to become more romantic. For others, it could be like you hook up, you start to see yourself with this person, you know, a relationship starts and then you sort of start your own business. But I think it's likely that I see them, I see money and love is coming together in this next relationship somehow. With the Eight of Swords and the Six of Pentacles, I do feel like they may make some mistakes, okay? Someone's making mistakes in the relationship here, Cappy. Um, and I feel like I'm seeing one of you is sort of begging to have the other back, so I feel the other one back. So I feel like mistakes are gonna be made. You know, you're both not perfect. And I think the important thing is to remember that it's, is, is this the person you want to ride the waves with? Because there's going to be good and bad with everyone. There's going to be challenges with every person that you meet. It's the one that you really sort of want to ride it out with, the one that's worth sort of doing all these things with. That's the one that's going to activate your heart chakra. But if it's not, then you're going to know, okay, this relationship is not for me. Page of Wands, someone's going to have a wandering eye in this relationship. So someone's more flirtier in nature. Uh, and maybe it's just they're super friendly or you're super friendly. But I feel like there could be issues here because I'm seeing double Leo energies telling me someone's possessive. Someone has to be protective over the relationship because they may feel threatened. I'm not getting like this relationship's going to bring back something from the past, like an ex or like cheating. I'm not seeing cheating or betrayal, but I am seeing like this blinded, this blindfold and the page of ones is a flirt. So I think um, what I'm seeing here is that there could be someone who has a wandering eye in this relationship. Could it be a problem? Yes. A big one? Probably not. It's not something that you won't be able to talk about because communication is very strong. Um, so it tells me like in this relationship, you'll be able to be vulnerable. You'll be able to show your jealous side. You'll be able to be um, money minded. You'll be able to sort of help them out a little bit. Like I feel like you'll be able to be as open and as honest as you are. Like being able to be yourself naturally. Um, around this person so 
I mean, that says a lot. I don't think you've had that in quite some time, but their energy is going to show you that. The way they are towards you, you'll be like, okay, I can relax about this person. I don't have to pretend to be someone else. So it's, it's, it's real. It's a very real relationship. And, you know, there's, there's, there's no pretense here. There's no one pretending to be anything other than themselves. So I feel like what you see is what you're going to get um, in this connection. But there could be a pregnancy that comes from this, uh, from this connection here as well. I see some of you, like, really improving on your life. I see some of you working out together. Um, I feel like some of you may end up going to couples therapy or couples counseling together. I see some of you just hanging out in the family home. You might end up becoming so close with their, their siblings or their parents that you end up just dropping by just to say hi. Like that is going to feel so, um, so familiar to you. And you, you're really going to like that you can do that because I think that's important to some of you. You know, maybe having those parents or having siblings, you never really had that opportunity. And now suddenly you're going to get it through this person. So it's looking good. It's looking very good, actually. Mm. Okay, I do want to mention there may be some money problems. Or I keep getting this relationships tied into money. So I don't know if there's a bit of competition who makes more. There could be a little bit of, I don't know if there's differences in classes, that six of pentacles. It's like um, you come from different backgrounds. One may come from, you know, middle class. One may come from like poverty. The other one may come from being super, super rich. Like, you know, that can create friction and, and um, tense, tenseness, attention, I should say, uh, in, in relationships. So, I mean, if you recognize it and you're able to sort of communicate about it, you know, that could really help uh, the both of you. But yeah, what I'm seeing is that there could be this, uh, this tension here. A financial tension. Um, especially if there's like a huge difference in who makes more money. And they could be like, it's, it's intimidating. They could be intimidated. Um, but I want to say you may be meeting them as, at a time when they're trying to turn their life around. So maybe you meet them and they're sort of getting over a drinking addiction or getting over a bad relationship or trying to mend things with um, a family member or a friend that they lost touch with. So, you know, they've, they've got their own sort of thing, but I feel like you're going to come in and you're going to really admire that about them and you're going to want to try to help them. Now, they're going to welcome in that help, Capricorn. I don't see them declining Um you know, declining your, your love and your attention and, and what you want to offer to them. So I don't see that that's, you know, I'm not seeing that there's going to be a decline um, in that regard. But I do see that that's going to sort of be like your calling and you're going to be like, I want to look after this person. I want to make sure they're okay. I want to make sure they do better in their life. And it comes from a place of love, Cappy. You know, there's no denying it. It comes from a very good place. Um, but really lovely reading. I'm going to leave it at that. Um, anyone out there after a private reading, please email me and I will send you the booking details um, and how to go ahead and arrange that. Uh, please subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you join my lovely little YouTube family, which is growing so rapidly. So thank you. Also, if you wanted to become a channel member, you will get access to member-only content each month. Um, and of course, any extendeds that I post, you'll um, get first access to that. So um, there's really a lot of perks in signing up for that. You can cancel at any time, but it is like a monthly subscription type thing, um, which will give you access to all that extra lovely content. So um, I'm going to leave it there, Cappy. Thank you again, everyone, for all your support, your love, likes, shares, and comments, etc. Um, thank you again, and until next time, bye for now.